Welcome to Resilient PNT 360 and 180, where we give you a 360 degree view of a topic in 180 seconds or less. My name is Omer Sharar and I'm CEO of InfiniDome and we are Aurelius Partners. Well, first of all, clocks obviously help us maintain time. Uh, but to be able to maintain time in an optimal way, those clocks have to keep time as best as possible. So when we're talking about GPS disciplined clocks, they don't only help us get coherent time between different systems in the field, they also help us to teach that clock on how to maintain time in the best way possible. That's basically GPS disciplining clocks. Well, the most prevalent risk out there is jamming, but jamming can be seen in two different ways. One is intentional jamming, and these kinds of things can do this. This is a GPS jammer. They can buy online for a few tens of dollars, and this can kill GPS from 100 meters away. And you can amplify that to kill GPS from a kilometer away. And so this is when I want to actually disrupt your ability to achieve GPS. There's also unintentional jamming. And unintentional jamming can be caused by truck drivers wanting to hide from their boss, or actually by adjacent frequencies disruptions that can kill your ability to achieve GPS in a good enough way. Uh, and I think that is the major risk today for any GPS-based system and also GPS discipline clocks. Anti-jam basically works a little bit like um, noise cancellation headphones, right? I mean, when you wear these things and you're listening to music and noise comes in, it drowns your music and your ability to continue on listening to it. What uh, anti-jam basically does is attenuate that noise, lower that noise, and allow you to continue on hearing the music. And uh, we do exactly the same thing with anti-jam technology. We are listening to the satellites. Noise comes in like a jammer. We attenuate that noise by steering what is called a null to it, allowing us to continue on hearing the music, continue on being locked onto the signal. What we did at Infinidome is we decided to make anti-jamming technology available not only to fighter jets and helicopters, but do it in a much smaller form factor because we realized that um, there's a great need to protect these kinds of platforms as well. And the level of protection that's needed is definitely something smaller than what was available today. So GPS dome works in a, the same principle, it's called null steering. Basically it combines patterns from two antennas into a single pattern and creates a null in it. A null is the lowest point of energy. And that lowest point of energy, we steer it, we direct it towards the very strong emitted signal by the jammer. This allows us to attenuate it and continue on hearing the music, continue on being locked onto the GPS satellite. Signal.